YouTube world. <coughs> I just got in a card break, and I kind of want to go over what I got. Um, I, I usually watch the live videos. He puts it on Facebook Live, and then he puts it on YouTube. Uh, I usually watch it when it's live, but um, sometimes I miss a couple when you're watching. But uh, here we go. I think I got a Royals and a Chiefs. It looks like he threw in some extra cards here. Ooh. He gave me some Cleveland Browns. I paid for a Cleveland Browns, hoping to get a Baker Mayfield. Um, because it was cheap. It was only like $25. And, um... You know, one one good autograph like a Baker Mayfield, it goes for 125 or so. So, just tried it just to see how see what we get here. Mainly, I'm looks like I'm got just a bunch of Chiefs, um, Patrick Mahomes. This one I spent uh, 49 for, and looks like I'll just get my money back. I can sell a Patrick Mahomes for about 10 bucks a piece. Um, all the rest of them are. Pretty normal cards. McCall Hardman's a rookie that's really good. I'd probably get five bucks out of it. And then it comes to the Miles Garrett. I'm sure that's burnable. <clears throat> Baker Mayfield, just a regular card. And a Baker Mayfield fireworks card. That's a pretty good card. I'll probably put that on eBay. It'll probably go for ten bucks at least. Um, so that, you know, a couple of those pay for the lot. Didn't do very good on that one, but still get I still get my money back. Here's the Royals one. Sorry, the camera I'm too close. I apologize. <clears throat> well, this was a good one. <laughs> this was a mixer. I only spent I spent sixty nine on this one. Because this has a chance of getting Bobby Witt Jr. That's who I want to get. This is a Ryan O'Hearn autograph. He's got two pieces of his jersey. Three color on one of them. Two color on the other. Well, that's a really good card. 13 out of 25. It's his rookie card too. Rookie patch autograph. Which is good. He's a good young hitter. He, just, he has a lot of power. But he didn't have very good plate discipline last year. Hopefully he turns it on. I've got a lot of his rookie cards. This is nice. A Hunter Dozier um, jersey card. It's 1 to 25. Uh, this kid's really good. Um, I'm really... This could be a future number three or four hitter. He had uh, some fantastic stats last year. And um, if he wouldn't have got... I think he got hurt a little bit in the middle. Kind of derailed how good a role he was on. But... I think next year, you know, um, the Royals are a pretty good young team, honestly. They just never have had much pitching, and their pitching wasn't that bad last year except their bullpen. So they get their bullpen figured out. They're going to be around a 500 team, and then the next year should be a, they should be a really good team. Their pitching's coming around. Alex Gordon, just a jersey card. <clears throat> Hopefully, I got some Bobby Witt Juniors in here. I'm almost certain there's a redemption card I saw that. Could be a, it, it's a huge one. And this is just a bunch of I got a card I got Cardinals too on this one, and um, um, I believe I paid thirty nine for them because they don't have a lot of good players this year. Uh, Zach Thompson is one of the better ones. The lefty got a bunch of him. Nolan Gorman he's a couple years been around for a couple years. Yadier Molina card so I kind of get my money back already. And there's the one I want. Bobby Witt Jr. There's a, one of his rookies in the USA. Another Bobby Witt Jr. School colors. Game day ticket. That's exciting. And another Bobby Witt Jr. Another Bobby Witt. Same in the same Bobby Witt Juniors. Then here at the end, this was the big one. Now, what these are is a redemption card. And basically, you're getting an autograph card. 
but they haven't autographed it yet. So they give you a redemption card, so whenever they autograph it, then they'll send it to you. And some of these younger kids, they may not have the time to sign it or whatever. They've got so many cards of them, they just didn't sign it yet. But this is a Panini Contenders Draft Picks ticket variation, Bobby Witt Jr. autograph. So I'm pretty excited about that, because this kid is going to be awesome. So... I bought my lot for 69 bu bucks for the Royals lot, and I made my money back at plus some. And I also did a, I did these things called a mini, because sometimes when you're, he's selling these cards and breaks, some, some teams just aren't popular. And um, one of them was um, the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I put 10 bucks in to get a chance at the Redskins, Giants, and like two of the other teams were... One of them was a uh, Jacksonville. I just <clears throat> just tried something different, and I wanted to get a Gordon uh, Gardner Minshew. I got one Gard Gardner Minshew card. Basically, it'll pay for it's a rookie. It'll basically pay for the whole lot, but didn't make any money on that one. But the Royals one, I did really good on. And if I wanted to sell that redemption, it'd probably go for really good money. I'd bet two hundred dollars. Um, but anyway, these are just a couple things I do. I make a little extra money on the side, plus it's fun for me. <clears throat> and I, I love the Royals, so I won't sell them, but the Chiefs and stuff like that I'll sell, and um, all these other ones I'll sell, but you know, these are really easy to store, really easy to um, list, really easy to ship. Um, it's not the, it's not so you can, cons can be consistent on, it's kind of like my, my part-time uh, hustle, inside of my hustle, because this is still fun, <laughs> but it's make money, but it's it's not something you can scale up as well. Eventually, I want to do some card breaks as a channel. Um, that was one of my goals. So eventually, I'll be doing that. But that'll take a little bit more work and time. But this is just another thing that helps us resellers that could help you in your business if you already do um, um, sports cards. So grind on, friends. Say goodbye. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye from Bluegrass Pickers. Stay tuned.